What's going on my financial friends? It's your friend Jack here. And today we're gonna to be going over my plan to reach a $1 million tax-free savings account, something that most people actually don't think is possible. But if you are young and you have some time on your side, especially, not just if you're young, there is a possibility. And I'm gonna tell you guys my plan to reach $1 million in my tax-free savings account. And honestly, not that long of a time span. Okay, so first things first, let's get this out of the way. A tax-free savings account, um, basically, you can only make a yearly contribution of $6,000 after you have maxed it out. When you're 18, that tax-free savings account is going to turn from $0 to $6,000, and every year thereafter, you're going to get another $6,000 of contribution room added to your account. Whether you add money in or not, you're going to get that contribution room opened up to you. So that being said, that's going to be the basis of where I'm standing here. Um, right now, I am 21 years old, so I actually can invest up to $23,000 into my tax free savings account. I'm going to show you guys my portfolio really briefly here. I do have a separate series where I'm building it up. Um, it is the challenge to 100K, but eventually that 100K is going to go to a million. Um, however, the basic analysis that I want to give you guys is that the market value account um, of my portfolio is about $462,000. The $462, you know, $462,000 would be pretty nice as well, but I'm only 21. $462, I just started contributing to this tax free savings account um, dividend Canadian stock portfolio pretty recently. And I'm going to show you guys my plan now, right after I show you the portfolio. All right, so here is the portfolio. You're going to see market value $462. I do have um, some extra money sitting in my tax-free savings account portfolio right now that isn't hasn't been traded, um, but my portfolio is nothing crazy yet. My plan here, though, is to actually put in an average of $115 a week, which is just shy of $6,000 a year um, for the rest of my life, essentially. But right now, I do have some room to get up to $23,000. The calculations we're going to be making are based off $23,000 starting investment. Um, I am going to be pay basically getting a, you know, side income going here. I do have some other income streams right now that are paying my expenses, but I'm going to try to get a few more side incomes, which are just going to be heavily invested into my tax free savings account to build up this, you know, initial investment of $23,000 as fast as possible this year, hopefully to get it out of the way. That way I can just be doing $115 a week for the rest of my life because that would be maxing out my account every year over a span of 52 weeks, which is pretty good stuff. It's a really good method to mitigate the risk, being investing in companies, you know, over time, not trying to time the markets, just trying to pretty much add money in every week, no matter where the markets are. It's a pretty good way to do things. However, let's go look at the fun stuff, the calculation now for getting a tax-free savings account to $1 million. I'm gonna plug in a few different numbers here also to show you if you're in a different situation than me what you could expect um, from your tax or savings account. And then I'm also gonna leave the link to the calculator down below. $1 million, $52,000, and $218. So that's what I'm gonna be left with in 26 years if I can get up to this year, $23,000, um, my starting amount right now, it's only at 500. And then also add in $115 every week with a rate of return of 10 so to get this rate of return on my portfolio, I am going to be reinvesting all of my dividends and also majority of my shares of Canadian stocks are a little bit of a mix of growth plus dividend, at least the ones that I have a lot of conviction in, like Algonquin Power and Corporation Utilities, you know, that one is one that I really like. So there are a lot of companies I'm going to be investing in over the next you know year or two years. But there are going to be a few that I really do stick with because I really do believe in them, especially long term, that could really pan out to more than a 10% return on my portfolio. But averaged overall, 10% is a pretty modest number. Um, I would say it's a bit high, you know, 8 to 12% is the range that we're probably looking at here. But I went 10%, men in the middle, and 26 years it's going to take me uh, to meet, reach $1 million. And that's only putting in $6,000 a year once I get to this initial amount. Which honestly isn't that um, isn't that crazy, right? You don't have to be a millionaire to find six thousand dollars a year to put away to the side, but you can make you a millionaire. 
So with that being said, let's go put in some new numbers and calculate for someone else who's not, you know, 21 years old. All right, now we're looking at someone who has the basic max amount that someone could have in a tax-free savings account, um, you know, at this point in time, because a tax-free savings account actually isn't that old. Uh, the max amount, no matter when you're born, uh, you could be really old technically, but the maximum I believe you can have is around $75,000, and some people do have this much. So calculating from here, um, people who've got to the $75,000 mark can, can, and then can also contribute $115 um, every week for 52 weeks a year, um, which is just shy of $6,000. They could do a little bit more. There could be a couple decimal places there, but they can expect their $75,000 to grow to $1 million in 21 years with a 10% return rate. However, if we we're saying, let's go for a 12% return rate, right? It would then take you a lot less time with that 2%. 2% is a lot. And I know not everyone's going to get 12% return, but um, there's no certainty in these things. Even 10%, there's no certainty. But having the you know chance and a pretty good chance to do well over long periods of time is going to be a lot better than not putting any of your money here, in my opinion. So let's look here. 21 years 1.5 million. Let's go to, let's say 15 years. We're going to check that. 15 years, 700,000. 16 years, just one more year, 800,000. So they just made $94,000 that year of compound interest because they only put in $6,000. And then the rest was just interest from their other investments from previous years. So that's something crazy. Now let's go to 17 years, $900,000. dollars <laughs> Let's go to 18 years, $1 million. Um, if they're at a rate of 12% return, it would only take 18 years um, from this max starting amount to reach that $1 million. So one last thing before we end this video, I wanna show you what it would do um, just a 12% return compared to a 10% return for me. So we're gonna put in the $23,000 here, $23,000. And then every week we're at $115 at a 12% return. So I believe before it was 26 years. Now I believe it's going to be about like a few less years. So I believe it's 22 years, uh, 22 and a half years. So cut four years about off my, um, you know, amount that I need to get to $1 million. And that just shows you the rate of return might sway 10, 12%, 8%. I'm just averaging it at 10% because that's a pretty, you know, average kind of return with dividends reinvested and the stock market continuing what it's been doing over the past 50, 50 years. Obviously, that might not happen. There might be big jumps in the stock market. Things could plummet. Cryptocurrency could take over. But this is just an example video. That's my plan. I'm laying it out there for you. Plans are subject to change as always. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And with all that being said, stay tuned. Check out my playlist below. I'm going to be updating my portfolio tax free savings account one specifically every single week and showing you guys my investments. And I do have three videos on that out so far. Also, check out the video down below where I go over an article that actually talked about becoming a millionaire with a tax free savings account. It's kind of what got me into this video. It was an article by The Molly Fool. It was pretty good. I went over it in a separate video. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your friend Jack. As always, keep earning and keep learning. Peace out.